Bay Remix by the Bay Brokerage. And this is the May 2022 market update. How's the market? The question everybody has. How much has it slowed is what everybody's saying now. Are you busy or not? Um, is it just cooling or is it ice cold? Well, it's definitely not ice cold. I can tell you that here from the figures. And we'll look at that. Uh, please do comment and share. Uh, like as well. I mean, comment especially if you've got a question. And if you know anybody that would be interested in this video, share it. That would be great. That's the uh, latent sale promotion over and done with. So um, how we're going to do this is we're going to look at the monthly figures for May. We're going to look at the year-to-date figures, which is obviously more relevant as far as trends and the market as a whole. And then we're just going to ask some questions and review why the market's heading where it is. Anyway, let's uh, get rid of me and we'll get down to the interesting stuff. So as always, there's five indicators people need to look at to understand the market. There is uh, days on market, sales to listing ratio, months of inventory, number of homes that are sold for that month, and I like to look at the 12 month average price. If you go year to date, we're still only six months in, average price for the month doesn't really tell you anything in a market our size. We'll leave that average price for a moment. There's been May, there was 46 sales. As you can see, detached homes are over three quarters, 76%. Modular homes tend to be in the Park Bridge, over 55 communities, adult communities. You would expect those numbers to increase during the summer months. The demographic that buys there and sells don't, don't tend to want to do too much over the winter months. Very, very healthy sales to listing ratio of almost 100%, 99.4. What's selling? Sales that are good, of sales that are good, fair value. We're seeing the high list prices disappear when people have seen, well, I can list for 50,000 my neighbor, that's starting to disappear. And only 13 days on market definitely tells you that if it's priced right, it's still selling. The interesting thing is the supply and demand. There's currently 3.2 months of inventory. And as you can see, the uh, new listings in blue have been increasing, increasing month on month. And the difference between sales and un uh, unit sales and listings is getting bigger. That's the reason we've got 3.2 months. January, February, we had one week, two weeks. Now, why I said it was good news, it's not ice cold, is one to three months is considered a seller's market. We're still sort of in a seller's market, the tail end. Four to six is a balanced market. Seven and a plus, seven months and above is a buyer's market. We're in that balanced market at the very early stages. And if anybody's selling, they've got to buy. So the good news is it's fair, it's getting better for buyers and sellers. So that, that's the monthly snapshot apart from the... Uh, 12 month average sale price, which is running at $848,070. That's for the attached homes. Just concentrating on that because it's the, always the huge part of the market. Uh, sales activity and dollar volume has been down over the last 12 months. This, you know, the market's slowing. Uh, but the average price has still have gone up 15%, which is a pretty incredible return still. Earlier in the year, it's up to 20, 30% because last year was so red hot. But, you know, it's still healthy. We're still seeing price increases. And the days on market average is, was eight. That That's increasing. Sales to listing ratio, 12 months, 105. We're out of the red hot market. That That's for sure. But as I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing because buyers have got more chance now. And everybody, if they're a seller, normally you're a buyer as well. We could... Um, if, if anybody wants a copy of this report, uh, please do contact me and you can study it in more detail. You can basically see how 2022 is nowhere near as busy as 2021, but we've still got that average price going up. So, that, so that's, the, um, that's the critical thing, that really is. Why to slow down? Um, well, we had a very, very active market especially the early months of this year, maybe too active. It was just increasing too much. The government stepped in 
a mortgage increase, uh, interest rate increase, then a second one very quickly. That really has started to put the brake on the market, and we're seeing that it was almost overnight with the first one. So the, the worry is another interest rate that may put the market into reverse, but we can only see that as the months go by. Added with the interest rate was inflation, very symbolic. The gas price is very symbolic, over $2 all the time now. Consumer confidence reduces a bit. March, we had all the bad news about the war in Ukraine, which is still going on, but it's not the headline anymore. And uh, that's why I said that ignore the hype, ignore the headlines. So April, May, we've had the rate increases, inflation, it's all been bad news. That's put the brake on the market. Added to the fact buyers have just got fed up with losing out. January, February, March, everything was going to multiple offers and buyers were definitely getting fed up. So buyer fatigue has been called. They, they've stepped out of the market a little bit. If you're interested in other areas of, around here, we've got Collingwood, Blue Mountain and Clearview. More than happy to discuss that with you and send, send you any reports you want. As I said, that's uh, May 2022. I just put myself back on camera. Uh, if, you, if you want more detailed analysis, do contact me. If you just want a copy of the report emailed to you, get hold of me. Um, any questions, promote. Give me some Google juice. It would be much appreciated. And uh, look forward to speaking to you in the near future. Cheers.